such thing as empty space. There certainly isn't, as this space is full of sound, played out from speakers at head height, spaced around the room. The pink board, which you're invited to touch, throbs and vibrates, as does the slim, lightweight backpack you're invited to wear, either on your back or on your front, or simply to hold. The floor is covered with a mat of silvery grey astroturf, and around the edge are four giant silvery metallic grey cushions, each a metre square, on which you can sit or lie with your back against the wall. Multicoloured lights play on the white wall, and there are also two large pebble floor lamps in opposite corners. The ambient sounds were synthesised from recordings made by over 80 people over six months, in sites ranging from airports and stations to cathedrals and swimming pools. The project has also involved the input of audiologists, sound designers, musicians and psychologists. As part of the project, over, over six months or so, we went out into um, scary, interesting, stimulating different spaces to record sounds using things like hydrophones to record underwater, to record um, placing microphones, contact mics on ice um, in an ice rink and recording cathedrals in Peterborough and in Cornwall. Trains and aeroplanes were a particular favourite. So the idea of the project was to both um, recreate some of the aspects, some of the experiences of, of having uh, sensory loss, having um, deafness and uh, loss of hearing, some of the psychoacoustic experiences and um, in a kind of poetic way. So to me, I felt it gave me the experience of, of how it might feel to somebody who's got a hearing aid in for a severe to profound hearing loss and how it would just amplify all the sounds that they hear and it would just gave me a bit of that because I kind of felt a little bit like, oh, a bit out of control almost because I, the sounds merged and yeah, so I think that gave me a, a bit of a, like, viewpoint for their viewpoint so that was good and um, for me and then the students they just really enjoyed it because there was so much change and sound and they had the sounds to hear the vibrations and with the lights off I think that because we had one of the ladies got a cortical visual impairment so that took away the visual focus so she could concentrate on the sounds three big words amazing phantasmagorical cocastic Um, it's like a dark room and in a dark room like you usually think you won't need to use your senses but like in there you're feeling, you're seeing things like colours and hearing. 